Hi, Emily. Thanks for sending us in your question. Um, I've gotten to it here, and I am just writing it out here. Um, so I've written out the, the uh, graph. So on June 21st, which is the 172nd day of the year, the maximum uh, daylight is 12.75. And then December 21st, the 355th day of the year, the minimum daylight is 10.583. Um, okay, so we are going to find out, uh, we want to get the equation y equals a sine wx minus that guy plus b. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is find b. So to find b, that's just the, uh, the y shift. So that's this value here. So it's the midpoint of those two guys. So we got 12.75 plus 10.583 and then all over 2 okay so we get 11.67 okay so we have B now now to find A A is just the amplitude so A is the distance from here to here okay um, so we have let's see here Okay, uh, so this is 11.67. So the distance from here to here is just you just subtract them. So A is 12.75 minus 11.67, which will give us 1.08. Okay, the next thing is to find um, W. Okay, or the. Um, so what first thing you want to do is uh, the period is 2 pi over w. Okay, that's the equation you want to know. And the period in this case is 365 days. So we go 2 pi over w. Okay, so if we solve for w, we will get 0 0.017. Okay, um, so now we have w. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is figure out what uh, I think this guy is called chi right here. I'm gonna figure out what chi is. So I'm gonna actually use this equation here. I'm gonna plug in a point. I'm gonna plug in this point here, which is 172 comma 12.75. So I'm gonna plug in that. So this is 12.75 equals a, which we know is 1.08 sine of w, which we found to be uh, 0.017. 0 0.017 times x for, for this particular point x is 172 minus chi which is the variable we're looking for plus b which is 11.67 okay so if we subtract 11.67 uh, we'll get 1.08 divided by 1.08 we get 1 equals the sine of um, oops freezing up on me here. So see sine of, we multiply those guys out, we get 2.924 minus chi. Okay, so then the sine of some angle equals 1. Well, that angle is 90 degrees, or, and we have to make sure it's pi over 2. So pi over 2 equals this angle right here, 2.924 minus chi. So if you solve for chi, you will get 1.353. Okay, so we have everything now. So y equals 1.08 sine of w, which is 0.017x minus 1.353 plus b, which is 11.67. All right, so there is our formula. And if you graph it, you will get something like this here, okay? And I also, I think they asked for the 91st day, okay? So what you do is you just plug in 91 for x, um, and if we do that, I'll do that in my calculator right now. Value 91. <clears throat> okay, so when we plug in 91, so when x equals 91, y will equal 11.878. 878. Okay, so there's about 11.878 hours of daylight on April 1st. Okay.
Um, and then as far as looking up in the almanac, I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, you might want to do that on your own, maybe just Google it. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the, the meat and potatoes of this problem. Uh, thanks for sending us in your question. I look forward to answering more of them.